Hello friends, welcome back to the session on your We Realize You and well, I am not starting from the beginning since if you wanted to see how to enter or log in into your We Realize, you people can see my previous video and based on that you can uh, log in into this particular part. Now I will continue the second part here with respect to your We Realize where we will be discussing about something called as how to monitor uh, the performance as well as the services that are provided by this particular VMware company. Okay. And at the same time, we will also discuss about how to allocate the jobs. Jobs in the sense, let us suppose that you wanted to uh, reboot the virtual machines which are present in your server uh, once in a while. Let us suppose maybe once in a month or maybe once in a week or maybe daily depending upon your requirement. Now the thing here is how to do that, how to schedule it. So let us suppose if you want to reboot the virtual machine once in a month, so definitely on that particular month you should be available. But what in case if you are not available? How can we schedule it? So we have an option here that allocation of jobs. You people can create the job and you can just leave it on that specific day and the time whatever you have mentioned. Automatically the system will be rebooting them. That's what we call it as automation. So let's see how to do that. It's very simple. So the very first thing what you people have to do is in the home screen. You can see there is an automation central here. You have to click on this automation central. And once you come here, you can see here right now, there are no jobs that are being run here. Only zero upcoming jobs. So here you people can see in the below, there is a graph. And in this graph, once you people are scheduling a job, automatically it will be represented here. Okay. So let's begin. So I'm going to click an add job here. You can see there is a button here. Click on it. And you just have to fill the credentials and your task will be completed here. So three things are there here. First, selection of the action. What exactly you wanted to do? that credentials you need to pass it on next scope i will show you so first what i wanted to do is reboot the virtual machines within a server let us suppose here we actually have two different type of servers one is with respect to your windows we have windows 2019 server and another one is linux now i am considering here uh, the windows server and within the windows server we are having so many virtual machines here i wanted to reboot that particular virtual machine that's what my task is how to do that first thing in the name you people had to type reboot the virtual machine so you can see here i just written the name just normal title you can give your own titles it's not necessary to give that but since i, I am going to reboot the virtual machines i just gave it that so coming to the next one is description where you people can give information like uh, what exactly you wanted to do. So I am going to reboot the Windows 2019 VM which is named as So here in the description I given, I am just going to reboot the Windows 2019 virtual machine and the name of that particular server, sorry, Windows Server it is. Windows Server 2019 virtual machine which has been given the name of a virtual machine as Windows 0602. And next credential is action. What action you want to perform here? Well, basically you can see there are so many different credentials here but actually I will select the last option. You can see here general operation is rebooting the virtual machine and that's what i wanted to do it in this particular scenario i can simply select this so there are other options as well you people can go ahead if you want to delete the old snapshots or delete the idle vms power of the idle vms and all or delete the power of vms you people can perform it but right now i want to do rebooting the vms simply select it and click on next button and here you need to select that particular VM where exactly it is located. So since we have only one region A01 private cloud, you can click on this and please double click on it, not single click, double click. And it will start reflecting onto your right hand side that particular region and all the clusters that are present in that. Simply select that particular region and in the below you people can provide the filter using which it will select that particular virtual machine and it will reload that particular VM. 
so filter you can see there is an option select you can drop down it and in this you have to select object name that contains very simple it is object name contains what so as i told you i'm going to reboot what windows server simply type it as window w i n d and automatically it will start representing so here we have windows os server and the virtual machine is windows 0602 beside that you can see there is a play button this is the one what you people have to select because that's the virtual machine i think you people when we have conducted hr lab you people have seen it right if you remember whenever you people created a virtual machine there is a green color play button in order to activate it and similarly a red color button to deactivate so same thing as this select this windows 0602 so this is a filter option you people have to provide very simple the object name contains windows 0602 reboot it so click on next and in the last one you have to schedule when you want it to do it let us about the start date i am giving it on uh, i want to do it on 20th of this particular month and the start time will be based on 2 15 am as per the browser you can see the time zones and you can perform it based upon the time zone whatever you want you can select it it's up to you people i'm leaving it whichever you want you can select it i'm not interested in this particular right now just i'm providing you the scenario how to perform it the next topic is something relevant to recurrence credential so whether you want to do it one time whether you want to do it daily or whether you want to do weekly well since we are doing it for the very first time we will go with the first option one time and simply click on create and if people can see right now earlier there were no jobs here zero job coming jobs but right now you can see there is one upcoming job and in the graph or in this particular calendar you can see on 20th there is a schedule at 7 15 why it is 7 15 because based upon the browser it is deciding it so at 7 15 am there will be rebooting of virtual machines with respect to windows 2019 server okay i hope it is very clear with this this is one way of allocating the job so how simple it is but apart from that there is other ways as well that we can do it for example let me explain it suppose you wanted to resize the virtual machine so whatever the size we have allocated to the virtual machine it's not sufficient and let us suppose on a specific day you want to resize for example if you take a uh, flip card a flip card whenever there is a new launch of a mobile phone and he will be launching it on midnight so in midnight the processing will be very very high lot number of users will be coming to wash that mobile phone some people will be coming to buy that particular so there will be lot of work or workload on that particular server so definitely this capacity of the load or the capacity of that particular server need to be increased so same thing is what we are trying to do we will increase the capacity of that particular virtual machine how to do that so that is also done using this only but there is a different kind of scenario here this add job button is used for doing the operations which i have shown you formally but the one which i am showing you right now is different like uh, resizing the virtual machines for processing and all so for that what you have to do is with the very first thing you have to click on to the home page here and in the home page you can see there is right size i hope you people can see it in the optimist performance you have an option called as right size please click on it yes and here you can see two regions are available region a01 and region a01 so one of them you may be confused why two well one of them is a public another is a private don't get confused so i'm selecting the first one and here you can see there is already one virtual machine is existing and that is clearly represented here workload one now onto the left hand side there is a drop down button here you can click on this and you can select windows 0602 i think now you people are already familiar with this right windows 0602 is nothing but it's a server windows 2019 server simply select this and i wanted to resize it so i want to do a schedule action for this you can click on this schedule action yeah i think you can see there is a pop-up window here and here we need to give the name of a job so what i wanted to do resize the virtual machine so i'm going to resize the virtual machine 
so here it is resize the virtual machine the description when i wanted to do it now i am rebooting it on 20th uh, better option is i will do it on 19th because on 19th i will change it and on 20th i will be rebooting it so it's not necessary to do in the same way you people can select any random date that's up to you okay just as normally i'm selecting it so here i'm selecting as 12 15 so on 12 15 am as per the browser time whatever it is it will be doing it up and here you have one checkbox button please select it and then click on create yes now you might be thinking that there is no nothing specification of the output is presented well actually the job is created if you want to see the job it's the same process you have to do you can see there is an automation central here click on this and here you can see there are two upcoming jobs earlier it was only one but right now you have two and you can see on 7 15 am resize the virtual machine on 19th will be performed and 20th i am going to reboot that particular virtual machine so these are the ways how you people can create the jobs those are very simple very easy to perform it. okay and even if you want you can see the remaining jobs as well if there are any jobs you can see just now i have created so the list of jobs that have been created that have been executed will be present here in this particular thing. in the history you can click that the one which are completed so right now you can see no jobs were being created earlier so nothing is represented once the two dates these two dates are completed this will move into the history and if you want the reports reports also you people can hear reclamation of report can be performed but since we did not do anything right now no reclamation and right sizing also we did not perform anything right now so nothing can be seen here everything is empty so this is the way how you people can allocate the jobs and now i don't have to worry about it how, how to perform it simply since i have scheduled it automatically on the scheduled time it will perform its task the system will automatically system in the sense the virtual machine will automatically perform its task i hope it is very clear with the automation part with respect to the job now i will show you how to execute the services the performance and monitoring of the existing services i will show you i think you people are already familiar with the, this particular services right previously to you people when we were discussing about virtualization 101 i think we have already discussed it performance and monitoring but there we have seen with respect to the virtual machines what we have but here we will be discussing about something called as uh, services that have been provided to these VMs so for that what you have to do is very first thing you have to click on discovery service under manage application you can see here manage application in that you have discovery services click on it now before starting or performing that particular thing and showing you people how the mon performance monitoring can be performed I just wanted to show you something how these services are exactly enabled that i will show you and in order to do that what you people have to do is very simple you can see there is a button here configure service discovery please click on that and here it will show you the different parameters here like we have aws cloud azure private cloud now since we are actually working with vmware so you can understand that private cloud is related to us whereas these two are right now we doesn't have any accounts in them so we cannot utilize them so let's talk about private cloud here in the private cloud in the private cloud onto the left hand side you have three dots you can select them click on it and click on edit and here you can see some credentials anyhow we are not going to modify anything just to show you people what are the credentials we have for that i'm representing this so if you see here the vcenter server what we are using here is vcsa-018.corp.local and i think you people are already familiar with this this is the one where we people have been working from the past one semester right and the thing what i wanted to show you here is present in this particular button called as service discovery click on it and here you can see there are different servers as i told you there are two different type of servers windows and linux so for windows by default the username is corp slash administrator please make a note of it because this we are going to use it in the coming part within few minutes so what is the username here corp slash administrator and whereas coming to linux we have hl user for linux is hl user and for windows we have corp slash administrator 
so anyhow i'm going to discuss about the windows server only in the coming few minutes so that's the reason i want you people to please remember this corp slash administrator and then simply you can click on cancel only thing for what we have clicked on the service directory is to see whether that service discovery is in enabled state or not so right now it is an enabled state simply you can click on cancel now now what we people have to do is very simple now you people will be trying to utilize the resources here so for that first you have to click on home page here so this time i will go again to the discovery services one more time and here this time i will go to virtual machine you can see there are several different type of services here apache http apache tomcat i think you people are familiar with this tomcat servers what we use it IAS for one virtual machine. I think IAS is nothing but you people are already knowing it. This is what we call it as internet information system and without which you will not be able to connect with your browsers. Okay, the certificate should be present there in order to access it. So with respect to this IAS, I am going to perform it. Whereas coming to V or analysis, there are other virtual machines as well we are having. Just click on this IAS virtual machine and here you can see there is only a single virtual machine that is nothing but windows 0602 you can see the virtual machine name is windows 0602 and actually what exactly it is it is a microsoft windows server 2019 it's an operating system but the one which is used for windows server and once you select this guys you can see the buttons have been activated here first thing you people have to do is you need to enable the service discovery as we have seen the previous to enable that you can see there is a blue color button green color button so this is disable service monitoring and the blue color button is enable so i want to first enable this so i'm clicking on it and right now you can see it has been activated now i want to see the services that have been present here in order to do that what you people can do is you can click on show details i hope you can see here this is the button you can click on show details and here it will provide you the list of information with respect to that particular server that is nothing but windows 0602 this is your virtual machine the ip address for this virtual machine is important here please do remember it 192.168.110.121 now this is the ip address what we have and using which will perform certain things but before that let us suppose you want to work with this particular server and you wanted to know what are the files and folders that are present in this particular virtual machine so how can you determine is very simple guys you can see there is an action button click on it and select the very second button execute script now i'm going to run a script in this particular and i wanted to determine in the c drive what are the files and folders that are present how to do that it's very simple you can see there is a username here username so if you remember the windows username i asked you people to remember the same thing is what you have to write here what is the username here corp slash administrator okay corp slash administrator and coming to the password the password is vmware one exclamation that we are using it right from the beginning remember guys the v and m should be capital okay and let's talk about executing now i want to execute the script so here there are two options are there either you can write that particular script in a word file upload that particular file using this particular option or you can directly execute that particular script here using commands so since the script is very simple the it's a single line script what i'm going to execute so i'm not uploading that in a file simply i will execute here please have a look so this is the script we have dir space capital c colon slash this is the script which i'm going to execute it and the output will be generated here you can see here standard out here the data will be the output will be presented how many files and folders are present in the c drive simply you can click on this button called as execute
so well it's taking some time to process here the reason is the net connection is very slow so due to which it is taking some time but don't worry the output will be present here you can see here the output is ready and you can come to the bottom and you can see so zero files are present in this and nine directories are present in this total how many directories nine directories are present and only zero files have been present so folders are there directories are nothing but folders but there are no files present in that so this is a way how you people can determine or you can execute different different commands after this now i just wanted to see the performance that which particular process is utilizing more amount of resources from the cpu as well as from the memory you know there are obviously we are talking about operating system and within operating system you people know that so many services are there services in the sense mm, services in the sense nothing but uh, the resources so who are going to use the resource within the operating system definitely the processes so i want to see the processes which are maximum utilizing the cpu as well as the memory for that what you have to do you have to click on this action button you can see here the third option get top processes click on that particular button get top processes and here you people can select number of process how many processes you wanted to do well it's up to you you can write as many as you want if you want 12 13 20 how many you can give it or if you want to reduce it that also you can do i am selecting by default 10 you can click on run and it will display the top 10 processes which have been using the resources that is with respect to your cpu as well as memory yes i think you people can see here the top 10 processes which are utilizing as per cpu now this will be represented in a descending order the one which is utilizing maximum will be onto the top and the one it is the one which is utilizing minimum will be present on the bottom now this is whatever the details you are seeing is with respect to your cpu can you see this cpu so maximum utilization is done by this particular process with respect to cpu same way you can also arrange them with respect to the utilization of memory can you see here memory here there is a radio button you can click on this and based on this you can see the list has been presented so here now these particular things has been changed the process which is using maximum amount of ram that is present onto the top so python.exe is present so it, it is an executable file and it is in the second place utilizing this much amount of kb of memory so that kb is you can convert into MBs and then you can determine how much amount of space this particular python.exe is using. Okay. Same way, if you want to know the top process which is using CPU, simply click on the radio button here and it will be arranging as per that. This is the way how exactly you can see that. I hope you people are able to understand and follow this. Okay. Now, moving ahead, guys let's see the performance which we have been eagerly waiting in order to see the performance of this particular metrics the first thing what you people have to do is you have to use a new browser and you have to type this ip address i hope you can see 168.192.168.110.121 you need to open this particular windows server in two to three browsers and then we will see how the utilization of this particular resources is done by this particular server so let's type the url here 192.168.110.121 so you can see the windows server has been come up here so that is a windows server we have here same way you please try to open one more here let's open two let's open one more same server i'm using the url i'm just opening it up now let's see the performance of these three servers whatever we have opened how we can see the performance here it's very simple guys you can see there is an option called as metrics here click on this in the matrix uh, you people can see this is the graphical representation of your windows virtual machine windows 0602 on to the left hand side there is a violet color dot and on to the right hand side there is a violet color dot this represents a circuit 
indirectly the blueprint how these things are exactly connected with each other and based on that it is performing so if you people click on this particular button it will activate and it will show you what are the things that are connected to this particular virtual machine now you can see there is HOL windows VM region esx04a.corp.local IAS and workloads now let us suppose I wanted to expand you can see on to the left hand side there is a violet color button here and there are some numbers represented means one link is associated with HL windows one more link is there same way for VMware region two links are there I am clicking on it I just want to see what are the links are there you can see here so region A01 is connected to this and region A01 hyphen VDS this is I think you people are already familiar we have already discussed it this is nothing but virtual distributed switch what we are implementing so these two are connected here in this case same way you can click on this the more you are opening it the more short it becomes so you can see for this particular server you have windows 10 and region a01 i am minimizing it same way you people can click on this you people just explore it and just go through it so for this particular server we have connected region a01 and ias and then windows os so these are the things that have been present here in this particular scenario now moving ahead what we people can do here is very simple let us suppose I wanted to see the performance of this IIS same way you can select anyone let us suppose you can see when I am selecting these regions here these parameters are changing let us suppose for region A01 I have parameters favorites metrics properties tax but when I select IIS only metrics and properties are present same way on windows I have metrics and properties fine I am selecting IIS here and here you can see there is metrics I am clicking on to the left hand side and you have other options here batch performance summary we realize operations generated now in this I wanted to go with the performance option drop down it and here we have something like CPU percentage I buy your read throughput I buy your write throughput and memory now I wanted to see the utilization of the CPU by this particular virtual machine for that what you people have to do is double click on that CPU percentage and the respective graph will be present on your right hand side I hope you can see this and did you see this this is a graph so this is a utilization by CPU percentage same way let us suppose I wanted to see the memory and you can see in the bottom performance with respect to memory per KB is utilized you can see this is the graph and same way in summary also you can see here whatever you want process ID so that graph is represented summary PID same way if you want to go for something else like after matrix let us suppose I want to open properties it can show you let us suppose uh, status when I click on it this is a status anyhow nothing is represented only a single dot virtual machine MOID this is the one this is the way how you people can see the performance monitoring and graph and once your task is completed you don't want if you want to refresh that is also possible you can see here there is a button of refresh here click on it and all these charts will be refreshed yes these have been refreshed same way if you wanted to delete them you don't want to you see them you want to see with respect to something else simply you can cross it up you can see here remove all click on it and everything will be removed here same way onto the left hand side you have a region here I am selecting this and for this I want to see the metrics you can click on network port statistics you can click so in this we have ingress ingress utilization utilization I want to see the graph so this is the utilization of this particular V region VMware region A01 VDS that is nothing but distributed switch utilization so this is a graph same way if you want to see the ingress traffic this is a graph egress traffic this is a graph for that so this is the way how you people can go ahead and you can see the different properties let's see about configuration and properties uh, uplink well uplink we don't have any the properties so don't we don't have to represent anything there but anyhow this is a way how you people can explore the different different properties and possibilities I want you people to please explore everything here HR admin ESX IAS workload region everything you people can explore it 
similarly you can click on refresh and automatic the graph will be modified here then finally if you want to remove it you can simply click on remove so this is the way how you people can perform and you can view the performance and monitoring with respect to this particular thing so this is the blueprint kind of a thing that has been represented in order to utilize the resources and see how these particular things are connected to that particular server okay guys so this is all what we have with respect to your we realize part one and part two so please go through it understand it and if you like it please do subscribe thank you guys Thank <laughs> you.